Hello to all my Potter ones. I'm your Jedi Master today, and welcome back to Star Wars Talk. Now today we're going to be talking about the MPAA rating for the Star Wars series. So let's go back to 1977, when the first Star Wars film was released. So when the first Star Wars film was released, they actually had to add in curse words to keep it from getting a G rating. What? That's insane, isn't it? Yeah, they, they added in the dams and the hells to keep it from having that G rating. Nowadays, you'd watch that and it'd probably be a PG-13 rated movie with the with the arm getting cut off and the blood being there and all that in the uh, cantina scene. 100% would get PG-13 rating. Now the sequels very much have a more PG-esque rating. They aren't as violent, they don't have that blood, though, whenever we talk about it, you have, there was a time whenever the PG-13 rating did not exist. So that's, that's why the PG rating was assigned to most of the Star Wars films. But George Lucas actually had to uh, cut out the scene with Wampa chewing on the Tauntaun to avoid getting an R rating. Insane. So, does that mean that the Star Wars series could get an R rating? Now, this has been circling my mind ever since Revenge of the Sith came out. Because Revenge of the Sith was w the darkest Star Wars I had seen at that point. Uh, even darker than Empire Strikes Back. And Empire was pretty freaking dark. And I personally thought, okay, so is it possible that there one day will be an R-rated Star Wars movie? The answer to that is no. Firstly, the uh, being R-rated would mean that it would have to be a lot more violent. Uh, and in Star Wars, there's not a lot of blood because a lot because it's futuristic. Uh, Every once in a while, a character will bleed, like whenever Kylo's hit him himself in the midriff, and there's blood coming out. That there's a minimal amount of blood. The language, I doubt that they'll ever ramp up the language from "damn" and "hell." Uh, so the honest answer is no. The I doubt that Star Wars will ever have an R-rated film. Now, will I have more PG-13? Teen rated films that are extremely dark, hell yeah, they're gonna have a lot of those. Especially with the new trilogy and the upcoming Han Solo and Obi Wan films, they're they're, they're gonna be PG 13. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Because let's be real here the original trilogy probably would have gotten a PG-13 rating today, except for maybe Return of the Jedi. But the PG-13 rating didn't exist back then, and they weren't quite hard enough to get it a R rating, so, you know. But then, the prequel trilogy came along. And the first episode, admittedly, it's really not all that, it's, there's not a lot that happens. You see some droids get killed, and uh, you see Qui-Gon die, and Darth Maul get cut in half, and all of it's bloodless, and there's not a lot to it. The Clone Wars, on the other hand, I'm actually a little surprised got a PG-13 rating, considering it's a war movie. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of sci-fi violence. And yeah, there's no blood, but you see Jango get his freaking head cut off, it's like, and his head goes flying. Uh, you see... Anakin get his arm cut off, and Obi-Wan get cuts, and there is actually blood. There's a little bit of blood whenever uh, Obi-Wan gets those uh, cuts. So, I'm a little bit surprised, but then Revenge of the Sith came out. And it was the first Star Wars film to get a PG-13 rating. And I was just thinking, I was, I was young uh, whenever Revenge of, Revenge of the Sith came out. And I was just thinking, this movie's different. I remember seeing the trailers and it looked different and then I watched it and there was so much behind it there was it was dark and 
there were times that it really pulled at your heart. So, to answer the question, no, Star Wars will probably never go to an R rating, though it will definitely hit that PG-13 rating 100%, and it'll be extremely dark at the same time. The only reason why it won't hit the R rating is because I doubt they'll rev up. First of all, it's Walt Disney. It's Secondly, it's Star Wars. Thirdly, I doubt they'll rev up the language. And fourthly, there's... There's just... You can't have a lot of gore in a movie where there's lasers and... Where they have a laser... The lightsaber, which is a, which is a laser sword, basically. And... Blasters, which are laser guns, essentially, and things like force pikes and all that kind of stuff. Unless, like, somehow they, the cortosis woven sword, I mean, yeah, that could cause blood to happen, but honestly, I don't think they'll ever go there. I, I think, I think that it'll stay PG-13, but it'll be dark. I think that the mature content in it will be more in the story and the development of the characters rather than the violence and the language and all that so that being said uh, thank you everybody so much for watching if you enjoyed this please give it a like it does help out a lot top friend today by my stars channel it's pretty awesome may the force be with you always